Let, let, let's start there. Sean Cotton. What's good, baby? It do, it do, it do hit it, different. It, it do hit different, man. It do hit different. You in the teacher seat on bro. Um, you been you been giving out homework for so long. Let's start there. Yeah, it's my turn now. Now I got <laughs> They say I've been overwhooping with the homework. We're gonna let Sean be the teacher. Let's start there. Yeah, for real. Now today, I gotta ask you the questions. Let's start there. It hit different when I got questions for the teacher. Let's start there. Now, Sean, a lot of people been seeing you for years and years over whooping say cheese on bro. Mm -hmm. I see you got the say cheese chain today. Yeah. Let's start there. We ain't never we ain't never seen that on an episode of on an episode of whoops. Yeah, I, I ain't really too like flashy with like materialistic shit like from the Lambos. Like even I don't even think you even know I had a Lambo until I, you pulled up. Let's so start that's what there. I'm saying. Like I always try to play like the I never really wanted people to know who I was. Like I always wanted the brand to speak for itself. You know what I'm saying? But um, you know, after a while, you do an interview where people see you around or notice your voice, you start they start picking up on it. They start over -whooping. Yeah, so I never really like wanted to be like the face of Say Cheese. I wanted it to be Sean Cotton and then just Say Cheese. But mm. so, you know, but I don't really care about jewelry like that, bro. Like it don't it don't mean it don't uh it don't uh because you know a lot of people they they feel like they gotta they can't go outside without that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, or they can't. Uh, you know, they feel like jewelry is 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 it reflects who they are, and it's like don't it don't like cars, clothes, like um, jewelry. None of this shit mean nothing. It's just good for like uh, you know, like with you in the mall. Okay. You know, it's yep. good for like a promotion. Yeah, like I just left like a basketball tournament. Like it's good. It, the kids see it, they want to play for you. You know what I'm saying? Sean, it make you look good. Jewelry. It make you look good. It, it make you it, when you wear jewelry, whatever you say is law. Like it don't <laughs> matter, it don't matter what what you say. If you wear some jewelry, whatever, whatever you say, niggas gonna believe it. Bro, speaking of that, that's why I was looking at you crazy the other day when you ain't have on your jewelry and you was talking about you more powerful than Gotti. Now I believe you. Let's start well, that well, when, I, when when I see the say cheese chain. Nah, it's more believable. All right, now break this shit down. Sean Cotton said he more powerful than Yo Gotti. But but see, that ain't that ain't no slight to him. It's just I'm competitive. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, so yeah, it's I already like, know. I know I, how you come. He's he. I mean, of course, on paper, he's way more successful than me. But like me as a man, I ain't gonna never just say another man more powerful than me. That's just like right. saying that's just like when you said the shit about Duck. Duck. It wasn't no slight you wasn't hating on him but oh, it was bro. just like you know like shit i'm i'm, I'm right always now. put myself first like and that's no slight to him i looked everybody up but i feel like to me and what i've done and the artists i found and the people that i helped i'm a powerful motherfucker you know what i'm saying so um but that's no slight to no man because i know when that shit come out people gonna see it yo Gotti may see it but i'm just competitive bro and you know not in a, in a hater in a hatred way but just like shit i always want to come number one no matter what i do so facts yeah now, I like how you worded that shit, Sean. You've been you've been doing interviews for a real long time, bro. Um how what's your suggestion when people get up up there over whooping? How you how you know how to articulate your words? Cause sometimes, like how you say, Gotti could have seen that and took it the wrong way. Yeah. Over the years, have you got better with that? And how can you tell uh, the up and coming artists who are doing these interviews how to articulate their words more better so people won't take it the wrong way? Man, it's funny because like watching you and you watching you with Charleston, like getting up there saying <laughs> over whooping. Like people gotta stop taking everything to heart too. You know what I'm saying? Like people gotta understand, like, bro, the internet shit crazy. Like people hear you say something, put a snippet up and not put the whole thing up and shit like that. But just shit, me doing interviews, man, like, shit, I don't know, man. Like, hmm. just I don't know, really. Yeah, you don't know. It's over the years. Let's, it's let's over the years, just, it, is, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Let's start there. Now, another thing, Sean. Um, it's been a lot going on in Texas. Mm -hmm. Everybody look at Sean Cotton like, like the big dog. Yeah. So, you said you put people on. How many people would you say you put on, Sean? Let's start there. I'm sitting right here in front of you. Let, let's start there. <laughs> You seeing your work in front of you, Sean. How you feel? j Main been out here over whooping. I do got my own whoops. That's straight <laughs> up. I don't really count. Like, I don't really walk around for, like, bragging rights and shit like that. And I got to thank um, you, bro. You you, you, you alley who me. I mean, shout yeah. out to V, though. Shout, okay. shout out to V. We, let's, let, let, let's go back. Shout let's go back. V. v know I always over whooper. So, so, shout out to the girl, V. 
first and foremost. That's right there. I think he reached out like tw- like three times. Oh, I was over whooping. And then bro. I was like, man, this nigga a comedian. He he just King Von. Like, not saying that I really cared about the Von shit. You did, bro. Like, Let's start there on Sean Cotton, blackballing <laughs> FYBJ May. Nah. Y'all heard it out the horse's mouth. Now let let's start with the fact. It, it, it was just one of them things to where as though I didn't know if you had. I didn't know your range. I didn't know if you was just gonna come on say cheese and just diss Von the whole time. Mm. I didn't know you had them 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 little corner them little pockets of stories and and every time you coming back on the show, you giving us another story on another story and okay, tell me something. I, uh, the the FBG butter shit. Ah uh, ah yeah, I hear. the hear little that. Reese shit. Um, even the Tay Savage that broke the internet. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like the Tay Savage shit. All those 16 Shotums interviewed Tay Savage and he told the story. You was there to see, you seen Tay Savage from a different angle. Mm-hmm. You know what right. I'm saying? So when people seen that, it was like, okay, this nigga been around niggas. He may not be a killer, but he hang around the killers and been shot at. And so people start seeing and, and seeing you as, as as if your stories were, were valid. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when I first seen you, I just thought you were a comedian just trying to get clout off King Von. And I'm like, you know what? I don't so you didn't know I was a rapper, not to cut you off. I knew you was a rapper. Okay. But the, the songs I was seeing was all diss records. So I'm like, oh, okay, is he... So why you thought I was a comedian? Let's start there. Yeah. Because, I mean... Because... <laughs> it was funny? Like, well, <laughs> let me know. No, nah, I mean, I don't know. Like, it just... I, I don't know if I seen skits. Like, what, was he doing skits already? Yeah, I was doing... I've been yeah, doing skits for years. I don't know years. if it was the skits. I was doing... I've been doing everything or, for years. What, maybe, I just blew up with rapping first. Like how you said. You were seeing the Vaughn shit. Um, probably a diss song. Me dissing Vaughn that went viral. But do your homework on me over dissing. I was the number one diss rapper out of Chicago. Like, my whole... Catalog was dissing, just yeah. dissing the dead. Right, um, and then it was just like, all right, is he is he playing around? Like, does he know these people? Mm. Like, see, a lot of people didn't know that you actually knew these people. Mm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I mean, of course, people in Chicago did, but like people way down Texas. south, Texas, uh-huh. wherever, Florida, right. it's like, does he really know these people, or is he? Because it was another dude in Chicago dissing people, bro. Fendi boy, that Fendi was old boy, okay. and people would always kind of compare y'all. Mm. A little bit, but he was more like a troll mm. kind of like I don't know. But when I seen you, I was like, man, I'm gonna give it, a, I'm gonna give it, a, I'm gonna give it, a, I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give him some time. And he reached out again. We did the interview. We did all right. Then the second one did all right. But then the third one was like, all right, I'm fucking with him. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> let's, let's start. Yeah. So. Yeah, man. So that's that's really you know. But as far as putting people on, bro, it's just really a passion of mine. Like. um, it's just really a passion of mine. Like, I ain't really counting favors. Like, niggas don't really owe me shit. But it feel good when people can go on interviews and say my name and keep it real. Okay. What I don't like is when, when I do help people and they don't give me my flowers. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I look at this as a business. Like, if you mention my name, more people are going to come fuck with me. Right. And, and it's just going to be like a family tree. You know what that, I'm saying? And now, I helped you out. Now, you helping your people out. And right. they going to help their people out. And it is not going to stop. No, but if you get on and act like nobody helped you, hmm. it's like, that's what I don't like. And a lot of people really do that. So I, I really uh, pay my respect to you because you give V her flowers. Because V's the one that really... Over Wolf Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's that's really what I like. You don't really owe me nothing, though, because it took it took uh, your character, your personality as well. Without your personality, it wouldn't be shit. I interview people all the time that don't blow up. Yeah, so, I, and I get, I get where you're coming yeah. from with that angle. But it hit different when you make it to say cheese and do what you're supposed to do and it get you to the next wop. Let's yeah. strike there. So I do. And you really, you take really my hat it, off to you. Yeah, you really taking it to I ain't going to take level. it off because I got the ball spot, but <laughs> you know what I mean, Sean. Yeah. Let's strike there. Most importantly, Sean, you created Say Cheese. Mm-hmm. You CEO and president. Hey, let's strike there. How, the, how you become Say Cheese? How did you create this? This whoop, bro. Like that's a big, powerful whoop, bro. Broke, broke as fuck, living with my mom. Uh, take us, take us through that day. Let's start there. Man, I used to throw parties, so I threw a party called Call of Booty. You know the game Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. So I threw a party called Call of Booty. Call of and, Booty is uh, crazy, super crazy. And uh, we pay, we made like forty five hundred dollars. Split that shit down the middle. I took my half home, and then um, I had bought a camera. And then the rest was history. Bought a MacBook off Craigslist. Um, uh, uh, taught myself how to edit. And then I started going on the cameras and like recording my homies freestyling on the block. And then um, that shit led to one thing led to another. 
uh, I was working at the Best Buy Distribution Center, uh, cleaning refrigerators and shit. And uh, it's funny because my dad, I was living with my mom and dad. My dad was going to kick me. My dad was trying to kick me out the house. Um, but my mom and dad was going through it at the time. And then I came home from work one day and my dad left. Mm. So my mom needed me to stay. If my mom and dad would have stayed together, I probably it wouldn't be no say cheese because I would have had to get a job. Mm -hmm. I would have had to, I couldn't, I wouldn't have been able to hustle. So my dad left and my mom needed me to help around the house. So I stayed. Okay. And then boom, one thing led to another. I'm talking about broke, bro. I had to pay my mom like $50 a week just to stay there. You know, 200 a month, just, you know, groceries and How shit. How old were you at this time? Bro, I was like 22, 23. And I didn't make my first hundred. I didn't make my first hundred thousand till two thousand seventeen, two thousand sixteen Christmas. So two thousand seventeen. Okay. Definitely. And um, what's crazy too is Chicago helped me with that run because that was the same time I went to Chicago. I'm flying back and forth at the time. I interviewed Rico Reckless. I interviewed Chief Keith's mom. And then I interviewed like the Butter, I mean not Butter, King the, the King Yellas, and I was doing shit like that. And then I was gonna get an interview with uh, Duck, but I thought he was gonna rob me. I thought he was gonna rob me. I was me. sure gonna get it. You thought Duck, FBG Duck was gonna rob me? I thought he was gonna rob me. That was the only time I didn't feel comfortable. And uh, maybe because he was so short. Short. Like, like not short as in like height, but on the, like the conversation. Mm. Like, yo, pull up. Like, not really conversing with me. Mm. So I didn't feel comfortable. And um, he wanted me to come somewhere. I forgot. I don't really know the blocks like that in Chicago, but. He probably just wanted you to go. Oh, and, Say I, I, <laughs> and I interviewed uh, 600 Breezy, too. That was big at the time. Like, when I went to, uh, is it Brick City? Yeah, saying that he won BD or G. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he changed from, B from BD to GD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah. GD to BD or something. Yeah, that run, that run changed my life, bro. And I always tip Chicago. Um, I always tip my hat to Chicago because that run changed my life as far as the YouTube. And then um, the Instagram started going crazy. And um, I remember seeing $117,000 in my PayPal. And I refused to move from my mom's house because I was like, man, I'm never going to, this shit going to end. Like, I'm never, this shit going to end one day. I, I'm never, and I didn't tell my family that I had that money because, you know, when you tell people you get money, they start acting funny. Oh, no. They stop helping. They make it harder for you. Yeah, they stop helping you. You it's know crazy. what I'm saying? So I never told nobody how much money I had. Um... But that Chicago run really changed my life, man. And um, bruh, like, like, man. But yeah, man, I was, I was uh when I moved out of my mom's crib, I was like 26, bro, 27. So that's why I always tell people that are older, you don't gotta rush, don't don't trust the process, bro. Like, you don't gotta rush through that shit. Like, mm -hmm. age don't mean nothing. Like, mm -hmm. it's people that it's a lot of billionaire, it's a lot of people. It's a lot of millionaires that didn't touch their first million until they forties. You know what I'm saying? And thirties, mid thirties, and and shit like that. So I always tell people don't don't rush that shit, man. And social media makes it so hard because everybody is so materialistic. You know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody so, uh, you know, everybody want to look lit on on on, on the gram. So I gotta get some. Gotta get. Some. Everybody do want to look lit. Everybody want to look lit on the gram. So. Uh, it makes it hard for a lot of people, but yeah, bro, I was. It's, it ain't different when you try to keep the whoops. I, I, I was twenty. I was like twenty six, twenty seven when I moved out, bro. But I had by that time I had like one hundred fifty thousand saved up. Woo! Do y'all homework on mm. having one fifty at twenty seven? Twenty seven, bro. It's different. Mm. And you could just go grab it. That's yours. One fifty mm -hmm. cash. Go get it. Yeah, yep. different. I hear different, man. So you understood YouTube at a younger age, cause put it like this. I feel like certain people just now. Understand, like I ain't. I bro, feel like I was doing. I was like all them years I was rapping. I was rapping literally years, 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 and then it took me probably like I, I ain't understand YouTube until I then moved to Texas. The YouTube space is different now. Every it's so it's too many interviews. It's so many fucking <laughs> bro. The YouTube space is but see back then street niggas looked at like back then if you had a camera or if you were doing interviews niggas looked at you goofy. as you you a goofy you, you a cop. Like, it was certain hoods I would go to because I used to travel every city in America, bro. Like, every hood. And sometimes niggas wouldn't allow that shit because they didn't understand it. Now, all the hood niggas got a camera. All the hood niggas blogging. All the hood niggas vlogging. 
all the hood niggas reacting. So it's just like at a, at that time, people just didn't understand it, man. And now it's like they seeing that the academics is of the world getting money and everybody getting money. You're doing your thing now. Um, that is possible, and everybody in that shit now. Oh no, that, that, that's like, uh, yeah, man. But uh, the say cheese shit was it, it, it was crazy. But Chicago, I'm gonna say Chicago played a big part in it. Detroit, Florida, uh, and Baton Rouge too. Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge was crazy. Mm. Baton Rouge. So look. Another another thing. Speaking on Baton Rouge, who your favorite artist from out out there? Who you interviewed? Main music. Main music. Main music. Uh, okay. Free Main, like super real thorough guy and tech too. Okay, main and tech. tech um, they don't get their flowers because they not super. They like real rappers. They not super disrespectful, mm-hmm. and they kind of like on an the island. They don't really fuck with a lot of the other Baton Rouge people. Um, but uh, Main Music's my fucking guy, man. Free him. Okay, that's a bet. Now look, Sean. Why why did you fight Sauce Walker homie, his artist? Why did you see stars take us through that day? <laughs> Let that start there. Um, I was really supposed to fight Bosco, he backed out. And then I was supposed to fight Nina Boy, he backed out. Mm. And then I remember that. Yeah, they backed out because on my sparring videos online, they said I was too experienced. Um, although I was I really wasn't. It was just the niggas I was sparring, I was I was beating them up. Mm. But then so Sauce Wood went and took the challenge. And I was like, man, I'm not about to back out. Like, I know his story. Like, the nigga did nine years prison. I, all the hood niggas in Houston talk about how he could fight. I'm not going to back out, bro. Like, all my life I grew up, like, because I played sports, bro. Like, so if you, you know. Competitive. If, yeah, 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 you're going to yeah, fight. Yeah. Like, Supposedly. locker room shit, teammates. Yeah, like, all that. I, a lot of my homies, like, real street guys. So we grew up fighting. So I never, go, I'm not going to back out of fight because it's him. You right. know what I'm saying? But I took on the challenge, man, and, and, and he won. But see, the thing is, the way he, what, what happened, I knew what was going to happen. I knew he was going to rush me. Mm. And my plan in the fight was to pivot. Okay. To, was to pivot out and just keep my distance, keep jabbing, keep jabbing. But the way the nigga, when he rushed me, I panicked. <laughs> and I forgot everything that I was fucking taught, bro. I was. Just it, fighting? Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. And I, 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 yeah, I took the L, but. Um, it was a it was the best thing I did last year, man, and I'll do it again. Like it was fun. It was something on my bucket list. Yeah, I remember talking to you. You was you was like you was real. Like you felt real. It seemed like you felt real good. I'm like, man, this nigga tweaking. He lost. Yeah, but you felt real good. <laughs> I could tell. I'm like, my boy feel good because man. that's the thing, bro. And and I'm gonna take it back to the internet. People on the internet, they never highlight their losses. They only highlight their wins. Let's start there. But my loss was in the, was on pay per view. <laughs> you know what I'm mean? saying? <laughs> So it's just like, and then a lot of, like, to so this, how much money you made off that? Let's start that. I didn't make as much as I thought I was. Oh, okay, the the okay. promoter fucked me over. I made a few, I made a few dollars. Okay. But okay. everybody got fucked over. But uh, to me, it wasn't about the money. It was about me doing something, fulfilling a dream, bro. Just doing something I always wanted to do. Win, lose, or draw, bro. <laughs> nigga, bitch ass nigga, stop laughing. Yeah, fat. Stop feeling that. Um. <laughs> It was fun though, man. It was just the whole, bro, I had to lose 10 pounds in four days. Mm. It was just a lot, bro, but it, it was something that I had a lot of fun doing that shit. Nah, I feel it. Now, another thing, Sean, um, we got to get back into these, into these whoops. Now, I asked you, did you see stars, bro? You never answered my question, bro. Nah. No star. No, no, no. He, he knocked me down. No Tweety Birds. No. No shit like that. No. Okay. Let, let's talk. <laughs> yeah. He not see the first one. He didn't really he didn't really connect like that because I had pivoted out and he had grazed me. The second one he had hit me, but he was so tired to where I felt like I didn't really feel his power because I can tell he has power. Bro, that nigga hit you. Get up, Sean. Get up, Sean. Sean, what is you doing? Now I'm representing Say Cheese. What the hell is you doing? Man, he ain't different. Nah, good shit yeah, though, nah. bro. Nah, all bullshit aside. I, I like to see shit like that. I'm okay, my boy shine out that old whooping on four now. And y'all was supposed to walk me out that day. Yeah, it hit different but when me and Tay Savage was supposed to, supposed to walk you out. Mm-hmm. And 
Tay, I, that shit, that shit. I think y'all were in like Vegas or California. Yeah, I was like, we, I feel like we was in different places at that time. Yeah, it was cool. It just seemed rush. I was like, fuck it. Nah, but I, I did want to brought you out with Tay. That would have been hard, that bro. That would have been, been next level shit, yeah. bro. Do your homework on us over pushing the piece, bro. Yeah. Let's start there. I love it. Now, look. Sean, I've been going viral ever since I came out with these, with these whoops. Mm -hmm. Now, I do got my own cereal. Now you know Harriet Tubman died for this shit. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you did your homework on Harriet Tubman. Mm -hmm. oh, I got a black history book over here for your ass. That, that, that start, that start there. Now that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. That ain't the, that ain't the right, that ain't the right book. <laughs> that ain't the right book. What up? I don't know where the black history at, but next time I'm gonna I'm gonna What the hell is my Harriet Tubman book? I'm gonna have a book for my with my auntie face on that for, for Sean Cotton. Hmm. Now look, bro, back to back to the woo. Um, Cardi B signed this first box, as you know, and then we got the over whooper. Recently, on the internet, I exposed that Offset came out with these DMs, bro. J Main reposted these DMs from Offset. He was over whooping. I reposted these, the whoop of Cardi. Do you think, give me your advice, Sean. Do you think FYBJ Main should have posted these whoops? The, the messages? Hell yeah. This a DM. It hit different. You know, you know that's a DM. You know the world ain't supposed to see that, Sean. Well, nah, you shouldn't have posted that. I said a post offset DM. Mm -mm. Exactly. Because he wasn't really tripping on you though. What? Did you read it? He was just telling you cool, like. Calm did you read down. it? Did you read it? Yeah, I read it. All right. So put he, it like he this. sent it to me. What, what? What did I? What did I tell him? What did I tell him? I'm a comedian, Sean. Let's start there. It hit different when you taking shit the wrong way. And FYBJ Man is a comedian, bro. Was them DMs recent? Now look. That DM, like Cardi said, that DM was a minute ago. The Cardi B message, that shit was like yesterday. Let's start. Yeah. So, so what is what is Cardi B saying? Cardi like, yeah, we weren't trying to do nothing, but you was over whooping. You, we was just trying to help you with your, your cereal. Cardi is lying. She called me a liar, Sean. Cardi B is lying. You talking about some y'all was just trying to give me help and give me advice on my cereal? You told me Walmart, Target. Sean, have you ever seen these bitches in Walmart or Target? Let's start there. On your, on your IG, you said? It ain't different when it was on, on my IG and it went on Cardi page. Let's start there. Why? When I go in Target, it was in Walmart. I'll give you that. I got my shit in Walmart. Cardi ain't do that shit. Hmm. I, I got my shit in Walmart. Do your homework on me putting the whoops in Walmart, bro. So what, Cardi's trying to take credit for the success of the whoop? Talking about some, we was just trying to help you woo woo. It hit different, but you ain't over whoop with me. Don't act like you was over whooping for me. Now, nah, now nah, you ain't offset having y'all look, y'all getting into it and shit. It hit different when you get into it with your with your with your little whoop. Now, nah, J Mac, bro, you ain't even had to respond. But Cardi, what she do? She respond, gang. It hit different when Cardi under the whoop. Why? Cause you trying to you trying to protect this nigga, gang. Let's start that. Offset didn't sign these whoops, Sean. Let, let's start there. What if they tripping on you because of King Yellow? Cause you, you think it got something to do with Yellow? Probably got something to do with King Yellow. It hit different. I mean, they like, yeah, he fuck with fool a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let's start there. Yeah. I think you shouldn't have released the DMs. Yeah, that, that that's my whole point. I shouldn't even post that shit, huh? It's a DM, J man. Why you whooping like that, right? Yeah. And you probably could have built with him. I could have built. Do your homework on me already understanding the relationship was fucked up when I left out the room that day, Sean. Mm -hmm. Do your homework on me holding them DMs. Was was wait, was offset there when you was with Cardi? Yes, bro. Yes. He was on some security shit. You know you gotta watch that ass. <laughs> it hit different when, when I'm I'm trying to get her to sign the whoops and you watching that ass, bro. Let's start. Yeah. Let's start. Yeah. Well, how'd you get in touch with her? Now look, bro. Do your homework on paparazzi. Yeah. It hit different. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Paparazzi Poe. You interviewed him, right? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all got a whoop on say cheese. So, Poe getting that, yeah, that's sis. Let's start there. So, I'm going to take you to sis so you can show her these whoops. Let, let's start there. You was nervous? Hell no. To meet Cardi and offset these regular people. Let's start there. I was more nervous to talk to Sean Cotton. Let's start there. It hit different. It hit different when I feel like you ain't a regular. Speaking of Sean Cotton not being a regular person, you is like Charlie, Sean. Let's start there. You know what Charlie, you heard of Charlie's Angels? V is one of your angels. You got a couple angels. I met the black angel in Chicago. Um, shout out to the other angel. I forgot folks' name right now. Let's start there. You don't even know all your angels. Let's start there. So many. I thought Charlie, I thought you only had three. Let's start there. Now look, Sean Cotton is Charlie from Charlie's Angels. 
You never see Sean Cotton. This your face, bro? This how you really look? Yeah. You telling me this say cheese right here? Let, let me see you, bro. Let's start up. <laughs> Everybody been trying to figure out how I say cheese look. Let me see. That's the same smile. Let me see. You, you think so, though? You think Everybody, a lot of people don't know who I am? Put it like this, bro. <laughs> a lot of people around the world, put it like this. We know your voice. Yeah, that's true. Your voice is way more yeah. known than, than your face. Right. So when I tell people, I'm like, yeah, this... They like Jay Man. Everybody in Chicago like damn, that's shot. Yeah. Even the other day when I re- when we just did the shit with the green, yeah. more people. That's how he look, bro. It hit different. I'm mean, yes, yeah. that's him, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it hit different when they never seen you. Yeah. Do your homework, bro. Do you think you Charlie, bro? No, I don't. So why why when 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 somebody schedule an interview with Sean Cotton? Why is he never there? Why is he always one of the angels? Because let's start. Yeah. Because it takes a lot of time to. Let's say I got an interview. See, I could do an interview in Chicago, Detroit, and New York in four hours hmm. if I do it that way, rather than fly there or fly you to me or it's just to, it's just to save time. It doesn't because I think I'm somebody that I'm not. Uh, is this is this uh, way more efficient to do it that way? Okay. So and then, so and you don't think you got too big headed and like nah, nah, I ain't sliding no, no, on no, people no, no more? No, no, no. It's, it's, or do you not feel safe sliding on people? No, nah, it's not that because I mean. You gotta understand, bro. I didn't. I, I didn't mean to damn near every major hood in the country. It's just now street interviews aren't it no more. You know what I'm saying? Going on the street and interviewing a nigga on his block, like podcasts, setups, real camera crews. That's what's in now. So um, that whole street thing and trying to do the street uh, vlogging shit. That's that shit ain't really in no more. Um, so to do it the way I do it is like okay, bet. I'm trying to do it to where I can create this team, put people in position, but to do more in, in less time. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. So people who aren't really business oriented, they'll probably think like, oh, Sean, this or you should do that. But nah, to me, it saves way more time to do it and have people in each city set up to where they can do it on their own, build their relationships and, you know. No, nah, that makes sense. So, on now. I don't want to make it all about me, you okay. know, because I can fly to Detroit and interview them niggas and but fly there, fly back, edit, upload. Like, nah, it's just, it's, it takes too much time. I feel like you should have somebody else edit for you, but put it like this. When somebody put it like this. Be edit for me. People dreams, people dream about, what can I say? People dream about, some people, put it like this. You said you got a lot of power. Some people dream like, man, I hope. I hope to get on Say Cheese one day. This is a lot of rappers' dreams. Vice yeah. versa, the Say Cheese is I can send down with act. No jumpers. This is some people's dream. Right. So for Sean Cotton, for you to do the interview, and then once you once they get there and they on the whoop, they're like, damn, it's good, but damn. Damn, so so talking to me uh via uh tablet, that ain't via via FaceTime is crazy. <laughs> let's, let's start up. Damn. Us seeing Sean Cotton. Mr. Say Cheese CEO right now in person with FYBJ Man. They hit different. Yeah. And we on this episode of Woos. Facts. Then you talking about, don't nobody owe you. I thought I owed you for this, Sean. Nah, you owe Let, me. Let's, let's start that. I don't owe you, Sean. Nah, you owe me. How much I got to pay you for this interview, Sean <laughs> you don't, Cotton? You don't owe with me. With your rich ass. <laughs> let's, let's start that. Let's start that. Hit different. Speaking of people, knowing that this is a very powerful platform, Sean, mm-hmm. throughout these years, you done turn people down. Meaning, let me explain. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't want your money for no interview. You can't pay me for no interview. Right. I got to want you. Let's start there. Why do you do business like that? It's people who work 20 years at Burger King and finally saved up a couple dollars and they feel like, now nah, I can send a DM to Sean Cotton. Yeah. And now they got the money, bro, and you don't want it. Because it fucks Break up. Break that shit down. When you become too money hungry, it fucks up the YouTube. Like it fucks up the YouTube when you try to water it down for money. Like rather, I like to hand pick because if I can hand pick, I know I know what's gonna do numbers. I, like I know I just know my audience. So if I'm just taking everybody's money, um, it fucks up your YouTube views. And then if you're you, if everybody know they could pay to get on your YouTube, then your interviews are no longer valuable. When and, and now people know that people know okay. Sean ain't getting paid from this shit. Sean paying niggas now. 
Like when you come on my shit, I always look out for you. Mm -hmm. So it's like people know, like, oh, okay, bet this is what Sean is curating rather than uh rather than Sean is just putting this on his channel. It's not organic, it's not genuine because Sean's doing it because he's getting paid from it. You get what I'm saying? Okay. And a few years back, like 2018, when I used to take money for people and get in to get them on my channel for interviews. The numbers weren't the same. It was like, who the fuck is this nigga? It just really <laughs> fucked up the viewership. You know what I'm saying? So um, when I start saying no, it make your interviews way more valuable because now people, when they sit next to you, it's because, it's because I want them here. You know what I'm saying? Right. So ever since I did that, the, the YouTube's been going crazy. On phone number. So, that's, that's the best way. Uh, and then one time, somebody had paid me too. And rest in peace to him, he's no longer alive. Uh, but a, a rapper had paid me to do an interview with him. And uh, he probably paid me around like three racks. This was 2018. And uh, he paid me in the whole interview, he wouldn't talk to me. So he paid me to look like he was mad at me. Mm. And I was like, nah, I can't do this shit. You never posted it? Nah, I posted it, but it, and it, was, it was cool. But And he was talking to me in the interview, but he was trying to be too cool. Mm -hmm. So it was like, damn, okay, you paid me to do an interview on Say Cheese to act like you didn't want to be here. Right. You get what I'm saying? To yeah. try to look, make me look like the fool. But put it like this, it's content. <laughs> it is content. Do but, you, so do you, and with that being said, do you care what a lot of other people think? No, I don't care what they think, but the, 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 I don't care what people think, but you don't want to water down your platform either. You know what I'm saying? It's right. like a catch-22, like, yeah. Bro, I didn't turn down ten thousand uh, dollar interviews, bro. I didn't turn because not because. How much band man Kevo pay you? Uh, yeah. Let's <laughs> fuck that! I blow the fuck up. Nah, band man don't pay me nothing. Okay, nah, you man. pay band man. Pay, paying somebody who already rich we is do, crazy. Nah, we do swap outs. Like I look at band man, rich as hell, shine cotton, rich as hell. If y'all yeah. pay, like, what is y'all doing over there? Let's nah, start. Nah. I, I, Let's start. I, he don't pay band man. Don't pay me nothing. Like we just. He'll look out for me on interviews, and then I'll look out for him on the Instagram when he want his his Instagram content up. It's just like anything. One like, hand watch the other. Yeah. Like, he look out for me, I look out for him. But that's why I don't really take money. And I, it's a lot of interview pages out there uh, that do take money, and they shit water down because they, they're not in it for the interesting stories. They're there for the money. And if you go look at their YouTube, it's just all... I can name, man, it's it's just a lot of different channels that's just a lot of interviews that's not getting 20,000 views. Mm. So it's like they're banking on the the money from the interview instead of not banking on the money from the back end on YouTube. So it's that's just a whole another, you know what I'm saying? Right. Now, I just had to ask you that because at one point we seen Bandman, Kevo, back to back to back to back to back to back to back. We was like, damn. It different. Oh yeah, nah. Ben Man's in Dubai, I think. So. No, no, no. I'm talking about on on say cheese. We seen him back to back to back to back to back, back on say cheese like, at one point. On on Hell, his Instagram or YouTube? No, nah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was supposed to interview him uh a while ago, but he's in he's in Dubai. He's in a whole other country. So then we'll get the a new band. Yeah, I don't have a I don't have a Charlie's I don't have an yeah, angel. Charlie I don't have an Dubai. angel in uh in Dubai. <laughs> no angels in Dubai is crazy, bro. <laughs> no, I don't have uh -uh. You can't send V out there? Let's start. If you wanna go, yeah. send V to Dubai. Yeah, one thing I wanna see V in a little long room. about V. Like if V if I'm like, yo, I need I need something in Arizona, she's like shit, babe, I'm down tomorrow. Like she's a go getter. Man. I can say that. Crazy. Yeah. Let, let's start there. Yeah. Speaking of V, what a fine ass. Let, let's start. Uh, you ain't never messed with V, bro? No. Why well, I thought y'all was fucking? Nah. Let's start up. Yo, everybody thinks that. Oh, uh, why? Everybody thinks that because I have females, like all of my my assistants, my camera crews, like they're all women. Choosing um, all females is crazy. Yeah, it, but, but it's better, better because when you tell a woman or ask a woman to do something, they don't think you're bossing them around. Mm -hmm. But if I'm like, yo, F Bob DJ man, uh, uh, pick up my call at four. I got somebody coming. You I mean, you may be like, nigga, who you think you talking to? And it's like, when women is not like that. Yeah, they're more they're like business oriented. They, they they're more like yeah. They they like they know how to keep a home. Like uh, they they just really like like you said like business oriented. They like they just get it. Yeah. And they don't look at it like I'm trying to like boss them around. There's no ego or pride with women. Okay. I should say. But nah, I've never messed with V. Um, <laughs> I've never, I've never messed with V, bro. Like everybody okay. thinks that from like 
um, they always ask me like, yo, uh, is V your girl? Cause I want to holler. I'm like, bro, like I've never, I'm just not, cause shit get weird. It fuck up. It fucks up the money. I always keep it short and sweet. I never, um, I'm never, uh, inappropriate. I never like, uh, do like any like crazy weird shit. I, if anything, I like look out for like, yo, like how's your, you know, your son doing like shit? What size should we wear? Like, I'm like trying to be like big bro. Like I'm never on no weird shit. And then like, you can just see like, I don't want to be one of them weird industry people that in 20 years, a story comes out about me and on some he P. Was, Diddy he shit. Was, right, he was old. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> like even female rappers. Like I never tried to like mm. sleep with female rappers for like say cheese post because it's a, you, hey, man, look, look, bro. It could have over. There's so many female rappers who be hitting me up, and and it's just like, like how do you resist that shit? Because I, you the man, son, nah, bro. Oh, it's say like, cheese, nah. I don't. I, and it's just like, I don't want to be a creep. And like, I got a girl. Like, I have a real loyal girl. But it's like, it's like, even outside of that, like, I don't like. I don't want to be a creep. Like to me, that's being a creep. Like these girls, like. You don't, I don't want to fuck with no girl who want to, I don't want to do nothing with no girl who want me for something I got anyways. Like that shit, like, mm-hmm. nah, like I don't, if you want something for me, like, nah, I don't want to, nah, bro. That's, I just, to me, I'm just not a creep, bro. Like that shit is like real creepish to me. Like fucking with a girl because she wants something that I got and she don't really like me as a person. Mm. Like that's real like creepish to me. Okay. And I don't want no stories coming out. No, can't no female rappers do no interviews and say Sean then uh tried to fuck me for for say cheese post or nah. To me, that's weird. Like you'll never catch me in the media for that. Like okay. fucking for it's just morals. Like, it's just, to me, it's just kind of like morals before anything. Like I feel it. So, but but for the niggas out there bartering they dick for whatever, that's that's on them. But. To me, what we call it, what we call it, barter in they Yes, is it like uh, barter, the barter system? Okay, it's okay. like trade offs. Uh huh. I thought you said, okay. Let's start there. Do your homework on what I got to do my homework on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but now, nah, I man, that's I'm glad you asked me that. Yeah, I, I, I gotta ask you that why? Cause now I feel like Sean Cotton. I've been with V so much that yeah, J Man is you over whooping. Hey. FBG butter. J Man <laughs> is you over whooping. I'm not. It ain't my whoop. Hey, you doing and, business, bro. And that's one thing about V. Like, cause she's so professional, folks. That's that's why I told her. I'm like, I fuck with you, V, because you don't try to suck my dick. Let's start. <laughs> the, do your homework on everybody want to suck my dick right now, but you don't. But, but, but see, but see, and a lot of people always ask me about V, cause yeah, we it was a point like in time V bro. was around Charleston, and it's like. I, whatever she does is her business. Like, I never hit her up. I was like, yo, what you doing with Charleston or- uh, What you doing with J-Man? Yeah, oh, like, even that. Like, I never- I you ain't never I, asked her, like- you know, you, I, oh, I, ne- I never asked because to me, as long as I'm being professional, I don't care what you doing. Like, I'm not, I don't even care what you doing. Like, I'm I'm on my business and whatever you doing in your household, that's your business. But just don't make me look like a fool. Because when you start making me look like a fool, then I got to cut you off. Like, because I'm not making her look like a fool. Right. So don't make me look like a fool. Right. Nah, I, I feel that. Shout out to the girl. Shout, Shout out to the girl. Yeah, as, long as, as long as no sex tape's coming out and it's like the Say Cheese Girl sex tape. Oh, that's turn the Say Cheese up. <laughs> the girl over there from Say Cheese. Oh, ooh. Like when Charleston was going on V, I'm like, it different. See, I never but, asked. I never asked her about Charleston. I never asked. You ain't never asked him. I never asked Charleston get behind that. Let's start there. <laughs> he, yeah, 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 yeah. I never he asked Charleston never. about her. I never asked her about Charleston. He told me, J Man, stop fucking playing with me. Let's start there. Man, hey, I will never know. We'll she never know the she truth. She wasn't whooping like that. We'll never know the truth. Because Charleston said yay and she said nay. We'll, you'll never know. So it's like, why, why even pull, dig? Pull my hair on my yeah. head. Yeah. Like, hey, I want to know, bro. I'm the interviewer. I ask the questions now. Bruh. Ask for that. Sean. Let's, let's get back and right to these, these, these different hoops. Charleston. 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 Mm-hmm. Charleston. FYBJ Maine. Band man Kevo. Who is who is Sean Cotton favorite person to interview and why? We see hella Charles. Like you interview Charles in the most, but I don't want this to say, yeah, fool, because he paid me them um because I probably get a bigger bet. Who is your favorite person to interview and why? And don't say Jay Main, because I'm just right. Damn. Oh man. Um Damn, I, I probably had to go with Charleston. 
Mm-hmm. Um, that's just because every interview is like, when I go into a Charleston interview, I never know how it's going to go. You know what I'm saying? Like his range is so big to where we could talk about any and everything. Not saying you can't because you always give me great interviews. Um, but but you could pick his brain. He talked about this, this, this. He, yeah. If we talk about Argentina right now, Charleston White gonna give you a hundred thousand facts about Argentina. And you yeah. like, what the fuck? When you read that book, let's uh-huh. start. Let's start yeah. Charleston White say some shit that you realize, like, yeah, I need to do more homework out here. When he For real. Talking. Yeah, yeah. Charleston, he make you feel like you got to go learn some more. <laughs> For real, like the one thing about Charleston, he gonna call. Like one time, Charleston called me and he was telling me like different books to read, like, mm. and that's why his vocabulary is so big because he reads all the time, okay, all the time. And um, Charleston, Charleston's really like one of the only one of Charleston, one of the only people that I I get I get nervous when I interview still. I still get nervous when I interview Charleston mm. because you never know which Charleston you're going you're gonna to get. Mm. Um, but yeah, I like Charleston. I like I like interviewing you. Uh, I like interview. It's a lot of different people I like interviewing, but y'all two are like the fan favorites right now. Mm. You okay. know, I'm gonna say one A and one B. Okay, tell me something. Um, I like Aunt Glizzy too. Let's let's do it. Yeah, I like Aunt Glizzy. Now, Aunt Glizzy, Aunt Glizzy. Now, who you like better, Sean? Interviewing FYBJ Main and Aunt Glizzy. I feel like Listen, you put them on the same whoop in my head. So I, it be like, because sometimes I peep certain shit and I peep certain shit. Who, is, who do Sean like interviewing more? Aunt Glizzy or FYBJ Main? Damn, it's, it's hard, bro. It's like, it's like ketchup and mustard, bro. It's like, it's like uh, Mario and Luigi. It's like... It's it's like fucking. So you think Aunt Glizzy up there with me on this funny shit? Let's let's start. Yeah. No, I just think I just think y'all are both from different regions, and it's like. I need some whoops because you over whooping now. Aunt Glizzy is crazy. I'm like I'm like Mike Epps, but go ahead. <laughs> but I think I just think it's different. I just think y'all are y'all are different, and I feel like some interviews I like better than like. You you've had some crazy hits, and then he had like two hits like. I interviewed him like three or four times, but he had two that like hit. So it just depends on, like that would have to be like a versus, you know Mm. what I'm saying? Or like line all the interviews up and see which one. It just depends, bro, on the, on the, on, on which, you know what I'm saying? On quoting them. So now look, do you think with them three people being said, who, who, who just goes way too far? Aunt Glizzy, FYBJ, Main, uh, Charleston White. Who goes when you when you interview this person? You like that? Nah, he's just going too far. Or do all three of us have our time? What, what? All three of y'all get on the on different. It just depends on the day. <laughs> it just depends on the day because that OTF shit was like people was really like, what the fuck? Like you got the shit on your head. See and then see Charleston don't dress up. He'll say fuck kids and all that. But you'll go as far as the dressing up mm-hmm. you, in the character. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then fucking Aunt Glizzy is going to expose his old friend that he know everything about. <laughs> so it's just like everybody be doing fuck shit on their own, like different. You know what I'm saying? Saying that I, when I when I'm dressing up, it's fuck shit. It's crazy when it's content. Let's, let's no, I'm not that. saying it's fuck shit. But you it's did just, just say that, bro. You just told me that's some fuck shit. Let's, let's start that. <laughs> Me getting money is fuck shit to Sean Cotton. It's crazy. No, I support it. Let's, let's I start support it. Nah, I love it, bro. Chicago King Dave. Nah. I was I was told that he brought you to his store in Chicago to meet up with Zach TV he before he passed. He did. Because there was some beef going on between y'all. Nah, I wasn't, this shit down. Nah, it wasn't no beef. It was just like, you got to understand, Zach is in Chicago going crazy at the time. And I'm going up there taking trips to Chicago to do like three interviews at a time. So then you got the fans in the comments comparing us. And then you got, you know how I go. The fans will gas you up and get you to not like somebody when it's not that. Yeah. But I always gave Zach his flowers. Um, shout out to King Dave too, man. King Dave, he's a real leader. He's a real guy. Um, and uh, yeah, he did, man. We was at a King Dave's store and I met Zach. I met Zach one time, but we used to always talk though. And 
a few days before he died, I told him to go to New York and I, I said, leave Chicago. You already conquered it. You already conquered Chicago. Go to New York and do what you do in New York. And he was like, you're right. And then at one point, he was charging a certain number for interviews. And I was like, man, man, go up in prices, bro. You're a legend. And I felt like Zach never knew his true value. I always told him, I said, bro, you don't know your true value. You're from the the the, the mecca of this shit to where you're from the mecca of this drill shit. And he just never knew his true value. He would always lowball his prices. We would always get on the phone. How much you charging? Man, I'm charging this. Damn, you charging that much? Yeah, nigga, charge, charge as much as me. Oh, I'm like, nigga, you in Chicago, you should be charging way more than me. Oh, so we would always give each other uh, advice. And um, he tried to give me the... Uh, he 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 uh, set up the interview with uh who's the guy that walked in the burger spot? Okay, now you said no. Yeah, Zach set me up an interview with Mubu Crump, and what's crazy is Mubu Crump died and then Zach died. So you had a- I was on a convo. I was on a three way call with two dudes who passed, bro. When they were both excited about the interview, this shit was crazy. But yeah, Mubu, yeah, it was Mubu Crump. God damn, edit that, please. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, no, Zach, I never had no beef with Zach TV. Okay. Um, it was just like the fans, it was like, you know, like, it was like you rivaling with somebody, you competing with somebody and the fans just creating the whole thing. And, uh, I would do an interview with somebody and they'll say, uh, say cheese, say cheese up one. And then Zach would go interview him and then I would go back. It was just like competitive nature. It made him go harder. It made me go harder. But shout out to, um... For King Day for that. That was some real life shit. And I was scared as fuck, too. Because I didn't know if King Day was setting me up. I didn't know. Mm, you thought it was like, though. I, at that time, I didn't know who King Day was. Right. And then at that time, it was Queen Key in there. Mm. Uh, Queen Key? Yeah, well, Queen Key was in there as well. baby mama? Yeah. The one that he ain't taking care of all them kids? I mean, allegedly. That's that's like... Allegedly. Yeah, that was, that was a crazy day. Now, look... You said your pops left, right? Yeah, my mom. Yeah, he left. Yeah, he left. Another thing is Oscar Proud your dad. Is Oscar Proud your daddy, bro? Let's <laughs> let's start there. Yeah. Oh, That's man. one of the questions in the whoop, bro. I gotta ask these questions. Is Oscar Proud your daddy, Sean? I've been hearing that my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> they be whooping you like that. I ain't never heard that whoop, but when I see that whoop, I'm like, I gotta ask that yeah, whoop. Yeah, I get that a lot. Okay. Yeah, I get that a lot, but nah. <laughs> He not. He not. <laughs> let's start there. <laughs> Penny, Penny ain't your sister. Let's start there. Nah. Okay. <laughs> let's start there. You don't know Trudy, no. Okay. Now, look. What's your favorite cereal? Uh, I ain't going to give you no hints. Let, let's start there. I'm going to go Raisin Bran. Raisin Bran is crazy, bro. You both <laughs> should sell. Don't Yo. nobody get this. <laughs> Your ass needs some woos, bro. You need these woos, son. Huh? You need all the woos. It's crazy. I was eating these right before Raisin I came. Raisin Bran. <laughs> Hold on. See, hold on. Yeah, we were looking for them after the podcast. On them. You took the woofs. How many of these you got? Enough for Sean Cotton. Because you still ain't bought a box of scrapes. Yeah, 100. I got 100. I bought 25 boxes. Are people really buying these? Is they buying them? It's crazy. It's FYBJ Main, Sean. No, they really going on the site buying them? $100 a woof. How many are you selling? Um, I don't know. Enough to keep me whooping. Mm. They keep moving. Do your homework on I got somebody else running my, my cereal business. But it make a lot of money, Sean. I made, I made, I only came out, do your homework on me selling 500 boxes for $100. Let's, let's start there. Do your homework. You sold 500 of these? 500 boxes for $100. Do the math, Sean. You do the math. What's that? That's cool, 50. Nothing, nothing, nothing to Sean got. Cool, 50. Damn, that's a say cheese that. I'm going to post that. Chump change. I can post that? I can post FYBJ man, so 500. Let, let, let's start up. 500 boxes of whoops for, for 50K. I'm showing Fruit Loops how to do what? Are you are you scared you're going to get sued? Um, Put it like this. Put it like this. If Fruit Loops sue me, then we in business. Let's start there. <laughs> You see how you got to think, Sean? Uh-huh. Let, let's strike that. Then we no. getting somewhere. Uh-huh. Now, okay, now we getting somewhere. But technically, I'm showing Fruit Loops how to sell Woops for how to sell their product for hundred dollars. Go put the FYBJ main face on there, and then we can put it in stores for real. And it ain't, ain't got to be a hundred. I ain't got to over Woop. 
we had just set these about 10 to 15 dollars more than the Fruit Loops. So what gave you this idea, the Dirk Yo shit? Um, people playing with me, Sean. People, people playing with me like I'm not him for real. Do your homework on people playing with FYBJ Main, bro. Like he not him for real. I really think you should get somebody, a manufacturer, and get like your, get like a, get a, a cereal that's like, um, these should be shaped W's. W's. You, W-H-O-O-P-S. It should be all the letters then. Yeah, it should be the W's in there. It should be O's. It should be P's. Whoops. S. Yeah, it should be. Get some different whoops. Yeah. You don't like the circles? I like the circles, but but what 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 what? You just want to you don't want to you want to dodge all the different uh, legal shit. I, and I know what you're saying is right because you're nobody. Your brand is nothing until you're sued. Let's start now. But still though, you you want to stay out those white folks' way. Um, I don't know, but you think I should stay out the white folks' way? Yeah, I think you should. But what you're doing now is amazing. But I'm saying, what as you're continuing to do it? Yeah, get. I feel like that's where anything that you do, though, Sean. Yep. That's where anything. Yeah. You get bigger, you get better yeah. over time. Do your homework on We on Woops right now. Mm-hmm. Do I got to go there? It hit different. Mm-hmm. How you feel about, speaking of, about us being on Whoops? I've been doing my homework, Sean. Why do you I, slam the book? What you mean, bro? We do it. Homework. Let's, that, do you do that on every episode? These is, uh, uh, with homework? Let's start there. Matter of fact, Sean Cotton, you need to do some, you need to do some homework, bro. Now look, Sean, we, we in Texas. Mm-hmm. We in Texas. Right. We over whooping. Now how about them Cowboys? Let ain't no fucking Cowboy fan. Why you not a Cowboy fan? Let's start that. I'm from Philly. Now, break that shit down. What part of Philly? Break West. that shit down. West. A lot of motherfuckers know Say Cheese is based out of Texas. Mm-hmm. But you yeah. from Philly? It's crazy. I was I was born in Philly. All my family's from Philly. I don't have no family down here, so um, just going back and forth. Uh, I was raised in Arlington, though. But Arlington, um, Texas. you know, growing up, every all, everybody in your family, Eagle fans, okay. Sixer fans, Flyers, Phillies. So it just you know you are what you really your parents are. So well, you from Philly, like Will Smith? Yeah, my mom and dad went to school. My mom went to school with Will Smith. Damn. Yeah, that's Overbrook, crazy. Overbrook High. Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. Let's let's start there. Yeah, Jazzy Jeff used to be they used to throw parties and shit. Jazzy Jeff used to be the DJ. Oh, so like, he was a just, DJ for real? Yeah. That wasn't just his character. Nah, real. like he real, like that shit real. Yeah, matter of fact, I think I did hear that him and Will was over yeah. back then. Yeah. When Will was a rapper. Mm-hmm. Will Smith being a rapper is crazy. Yeah, so that's but I rep Texas though too, like don't get it twisted, but But not them cowboys. No, no, no. Like that shit is like you gotta understand, like, you a bear fan, right? Because I'm from Chicago. Right. So your your kids are going to grow up being Bears fans because they see you may step in with some Chicago Bears shit or some oh, some whoops. Cubs shit or some White Sox shit. See, in Chicago, we'll wear anything, though, gang. So do your homework on me being from Chicago, but I probably walked in this bitch with a Philly outfit on. I know. Yeah. It hit different. Yeah. Chicago, we different. Like, just like how we don't care about, like, y'all probably CJ Man. I, I just did an interview with um, 051 Kiddo. Mm-hmm. Um, I had on a red bandana in the wool. Hey, in the comments. Also, J Man's a blood now. Do your homework on we ain't even got bloods in Chicago. But don't y'all I do the hat even, shit. I could never be a blood. But wait, don't y'all do the hat shit that if it's this way. If it's this way, now that yeah, now that that's a whoop. That's, that's a whoop in the rack. That's, that's, still that's a whoop in the rack. But do your homework on mumps mup, don't even be caring about that no more. Do your homework. It hit different. As time and the generation has changed, mup, he put on the head on. What you got your shit man to the left? You got but do your homework on the left for certain motherfuckers and the right for the dead end. Yeah. Like, uh, do your homework on the most land they shit to the left. That's right. Like, uh, yeah. Hit different. Now look, Sean. Pet, pet, let's get back into these different whoops. Now, you a generous person, Sean. Mm-hmm. You, you was passing out Hellcats. Crap. Huh. Let's, let's start there. They said that was a scam. Let's, let's start there. Break it down, Sean. They said it was a scam. But um, it seemed like you was being generous by throwing out a hell giving away a hellcat is crazy. Yeah. How much is that car worth? That car the the scat pack was worth uh yeah. the scat pack you could resell it for about 70. 70? Yeah, it was it was brand new. Reselling so you gave away seventy thousand dollars for for how the much per, the person who won, he was from um 
the person who won my Corvette was from Sacramento. No, the first person was from Sacramento. Gave away a vet too. The vet, he was from, um, was it Orange County somewhere? They were both from Cali though. Mm. And then people were upset saying that I gave the car away to my cousin. All my family is in like the West, I mean the East Coast. Baltimore, DC, Philly. I don't have no cousins in in in, L, in California. Mm. So I don't know, but yeah, they won it. Well, and I showed people, I went step by step. I flew these people out here. I, I did the vlog on it. I, I, I when I chose the winner, I went live. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else I could have done to prove people that it was legit. So it was just one of them things like. If you didn't win, you thought it was fake. But the people who won never thought they were going to win. Like, when they came and picked it up, damn near crying, shaking. Like, is this shit real? Like, is, when they picked it up, is the title real? Are you, like, it just seemed too good to be true. But it was it was, it was was real. But I'm never going to do it again because of the backlash I got for it, so. Damn, that's fucked up. Yep, never do it again? No, I got two on me in the, two on me in the Hellcat cars uh, that I won. Um, at the auction, um, he wants me. Omi wants me to to do the raffle, but I'm not gonna raffle him. He, if anything, I'll just sell it back to the dealer. Sell it back to the dealer for the whoop. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not taking that type of backlash no more for something that I'm really doing that I don't have to do. I could have sold that them the, the the two cars and got my money back. Yeah, so, you you really could have though, right. and got your bread, bro, and not like, looking I, out for everybody yeah. and trying to be big hearted. Right like, bro, there. I got a, I got the t the titles right here. Like, I don't know, <laughs> the titles right. Oh yeah, yeah, I don't know. Uh -huh. yeah. I about to say you got the you got the titles. You over Uber. <laughs> Let, let's start there. So, let's start there. Um, I got I got these different whoops for you, Sean. Mm -hmm. Um. A lot of them up been asked me a lot, a lot of questions, Sean. You know uh, that. Uh, go for it. You now look. How do you feel when you saw the Lil J prison videos and after you was trying to? It seemed like you was fake trying to defend them at one point. So nah, uh, we'll go. We'll go ahead. So that that's basically my whole point of that. It seemed like one time at one point in time it was like, um, like you ain't really want to say it was. What it was. So, what's your thoughts? What do you, like, what do you mean? Verbally or like on Say Cheese? Yeah, I feel like you weren't really trying to overwhelm. Like on the Say Cheese, like post? Um, both. Like, you weren't, like, oh, okay. I feel like, like even now, when I was talking to y'all and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, you weren't Because to when I saw it, I was like, all right, bet. Like, damn, that is him when I first saw it. And then when, when he went, I guess he was a phone call or something that he had did with you. Mm. And it's, he sounded like it. <laughs> when he broke it down, it was cause see me, I don't like to be too opinionated about something until I hear both sides of the story. Mm -hmm. So when I first saw it, I'm like, eh, maybe just a nigga with dreads that's tall, uh, with a big forehead. Maybe that ain't him. <laughs> and then the forehead did stick out though. Yeah. And then everybody know Lil J forehead. Yeah, man. and then and then when he was telling you, he was like really persuading you. Like even you, like even you was like, ah. So I'm like, damn, I don't know. Like, maybe we gotta, maybe we'll we gotta see homework. something else. But then, like, when I seen like the blood, the I think his name like Blood Money did an interview on DJ Bloodbath, Bloodbath, yeah. And then, um, uh, just seeing all these different people come out on DJU, all these people can't be lying. Hmm. That's my thing. Like, people lie about a lot of shit, but a gay allegation is like, where's somebody going? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. And then, like, a lot of people felt like he didn't know he was going to get out, so he kind of gave up hope and gave up a hole. Facts, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it seemed like <laughs> Lil J kind of like, yeah. But put it like this, a lot of, they getting that he thought he wasn't ever coming home. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. So it's like, it's a lot of people in there, like, even Butter said it. Now, I don't know if Butter on some slick, like, I'm trying to get back at him for saying I read it. Cause you know, butter Italian can, beef and Pepsi is crazy. Man, it so, went viral on your platform. It did, it did, and that's why I waited so long to reach out to Butter because most people would have been mad at me. Mm -hmm. Like, damn, man, you don't say, man, fuck say cheese, man. How you gonna let that nigga go in there? So that's why I waited. But then I watched Butter go up, and I'm like, you know what? He's a good dude, and I know what he'll do um, on my platform. But uh. Yeah, uh, I, the little J shit was crazy to me. 
waiting on him to get the butter after Lil J just told his story. Stop doing that, Sean. Why? Chicago niggas, we die quick as hell. Folks could have wanted to do his interview and get his his little response back, but he could have died, Sean. Hmm. Stop whooping like that. He didn't reach out though. So when wait wait wait, it's it's like two three cities of niggas that like if they don't reach out to me first, I kind of don't think they fucking with me. Mm. Like if they not following the page or like engaging Stop whooping with like it. that, Sean. Reach out. You never know. You like, just never know. Like a like a G Herbo interview. I always want to interview G Herbo, but I always feel like he never fucked with me. Mm. Um, and that's because like he he never commented on Say Cheese ever. Mm. And everybody commented on Say Cheese at least once. Mm. Drake do. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, all right, damn, like. You said you just never caught it. I just I just don't think he fucking with me. So it's like, I don't want to just reach out and it just be some other shit or so I just kind of let things take its course. Do your homework on collabing on Instagram. Do your homework on G Herbo never commenting under my whoops until I collab with who? T Slick with the one eye. Mm. Get T Slick with the one eye up there. Yeah. You might get a G Herbo comment. Yeah. That, let's, let's start that. Do your I, homework I always on... wanted a G Herbo. I, I fuck with her. It's You, you got to know who he really whoop with. Yeah. You get Slick up there. Hey, there. Yeah. Let's start that. Um... Sean, after, after all these interviews, bro, let's start there. Do you believe Lil Reese is my cousin? Let's, Damn. let's, let's start there. Nah. That don't play in my face, Sean. Uh, nah, I don't think he's your cousin. You don't, you don't believe Lil Reese is my cousin? Nah. How many in, back-to-back interviews do I got to do, bro? Let's start there. You don't believe that that's my cousin? Nah, I just think you trying to, you just really trying to, like, get trying him to... to you just really trolling them. Why would I keep trolling my cousin, bro? Let's start there. Family reunions, it, it's going to hit different. Why would I keep trolling my cousin? First of all, a grown-ass man steady saying somebody his cousin. Y'all ain't, not y'all ain't first cousins, though. Nah, we ain't first cousins. Let's start there. It's like y- y'all cousins through marriage type shit. Look, do your homework on being exactly. cousins. Exactly. We cousins <laughs> through, the, through the Cayman Met. Do your homework on Cayman Met blood. Shut do your homework the, on the different shut blood. Shut the fuck and, up, bro. I got, I got shut up. Up. The same whoop that Reese got in his body. Let's start there. Yeah. yeah, you 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 uh you fucked up me and his uh, uh friendship too. Okay, now look. Let's let's start there. Fucking with FYBJ Man, what all I done fucked up for you? Because <laughs> people be telling me, J Man, bro, my homies done told me, nigga, you shot a video, I done got kicked out the crib. Like, I whooped with my fuckers, yeah. my fuckers cutting them off. Like Reese was like, man, we, man, I was fucking with you. Because me and Reese was been supposed to get one interview in. But uh, that shit, he was just like, nah, man, I ain't fucking with you. Uh, my cousin be tripping. I got to I gotta call him. I got to call him. Because that would be cool for y'all to get one in. That would, that would go crazy, bro. But I mean, we was, we was on our way somewhere. At, but you know how, you know, it be different. At different times, you know, people feel different on the guys. I told Reese we need, I, that would have been crazy. Sean Cotton, Lil Reese, FYBJ Maine. We hitting these schools, passing out these whoops. He telling kids to do their research. J Maine telling kids to do their homework. Why is we not out here over whooping? Uh, bringing this shit together. I think it's some. I don't know if it's personal or maybe y'all really is cousins. Um, do your no. homework. You maybe, think, maybe, you maybe. You think he jealous of his cousin? Maybe. I thought he'd be proud of me, Sean. But, but you got to understand who he's cool with. So Ooh, we cool with. So so you gotta understand that it may be one of them things to where it's though. Chief Kiefer, Chief of Kiefer or Durkio. So it was like choosing Durkio but, over but, FYBJ Man is crazy. But let's just say, let's just say y'all get cool. Dirk may be like, man, why are you fucking with that? Yeah, Dirk ain't Dirk ain't fucking so with that. So it's like that shit right there is like sometimes people fuck with the nigga who can do more for them. Mm-hmm. Or, make more sense. or potentially, although you probably have a way better, mm. Uh, mm. like the shit you talking about is like giving back and you already see the vision of what you want to do, giving back to the youth, but still I got this millionaire friend over here who may not look at me the same. I don't want to fuck that up either. Mm. And this nigga that trolled my, my homie King Von and he didn't troll that me. That shit old. That shit old. Niggas don't look at it like that. That shit though. old, bro. That shit old. Do your homework. Um, not forgetting, but forgiving. Do your homework. We gotta, we gotta start from somewhere. We can't keep dwelling on the past, on folding them gray. That just like when they took the shit the wrong way about me at Von Mural. But what I say, on folding them, oh, that's how y'all take that shit? 
on gang, y'all will never see me up there supporting Vaughn no more then. Because on four of them, I ain't have to put my whoops up there. Fuck is y'all talking about? It hit different. Catch my drift. I, I ain't have to risk my life and go up there to the Vaughn rule and show y'all that I'm really out here pushing this piece. Y'all ass could have killed me. Fuck is wrong with you. Was you scared on your way up there? Was I scared? Scared is crazy. Scared is crazy in my own city, Sean. Do your homework on Chiracians. We not scared of our own city. Mm. I don't think we be scared of the rat. For real, for real. But on four now, you just aware of what could happen. So, yeah, I know I'm in front of Parkway. I know I done made all them diss songs in the past. But I know, like them niggas know, yeah, he pushing the piece right now. So if you did some wild ass shit on four now, everybody told me that in the rack on four now, like, hey, J-Man, motherfuckers do some shit to you right now for their ass bogus. Oh, yeah. Everybody see how you coming on four now, and we behind you 100%. Do your homework on niggas who never fucked with, with me a day in their life telling me they behind me 100%. Do your homework on certain members. Have you ran into an op yet? Um, ran into an op? Shit, do your homework on me meeting with the ops. <laughs> You ain't been doing your homework on these whoops? I've been linking up. I'm though. talking about people who aren't internet savvy and niggas that's, you know, some niggas Behind around, the scenes? Some niggas around the way that y'all never really got along with. I guess I guess you could say that because, I mean, when when we, when we I'm linking with, with certain people, then you got certain people in the background, I'm like, man, I told you to come back yourself. Mm. Let's die. How's that feeling? Let's like? die. But what's that? This a back door. But, but what's that feeling like when you invite somebody somewhere and it's that one nigga lingering around? Do your homework. But I know you got your niggas with you too, though, right? Put it like this. It's energy, bro. It's energy, I feel like. That's the whole thing. You know how to break them all? I just feel all like- All you gotta it, do is get them laugh one, one or two times. But uh, not even that. I just feel like it's the energy. You put it like this. Just because a motherfucker could fake laugh if you, you show, but, but if you show a nigga like, man, like- Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, how your energy is. And that's why I say it's all about energy yeah. on phone now. So, I mean, a nigga could fake laugh with you and still pop the shit out of you. Like, mm-hmm. damn, gang, that's what you was on? Yeah. But for the most part, like, you know, it's- this 2000 and what, 2024, on four now, you should be a good judge of character because you done met a lot of motherfuckers in your life by now. You see what I'm saying? You should have been, by the age of, and growing up in Chicago, by the age of 14, you done got backdoored a couple times. Hopefully not the wrong backdoor, but you done, basically, motherfuckers done tried to go on you throughout your life on four them growing up in Chicago, niggas pull a little funny shit. Mm-hmm. By the age of 14, then you get 18, that's a different stage. 21, you'll be lucky if your ass still alive in Chicago. Right. Let's start. Now I'm over Uber. Motherfuckers be dead by then. But you get my point. Mm-hmm. Through life in Chicago, you learn different shit like, mm, yeah, this could be a back door because you already met a nigga that was like that. Oh, I met you before. I know what type of nigga you You see what I'm saying? So vice versa. J-Man going to all these different states. Hey, J-Man, you be fuck with all this. But my homie them already know how I grew up. So they be like, boy, you be fuck with all these new niggas, boy. You, how you, boy, you fuck with them niggas? Bro, do your homework. Do your homework on how to move and me, everything I use in Chicago. Shit, I was in the field for all them years. Now I know how to move somewhere else in the world. On right. I understand what type of energy gives. Oh, you remind me of folks. I follow him, man. He was a killer. Yeah. Let's start up. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case is, I'm gang. I mean, just being a good judge of character, I feel like I take a motherfucker, you know? Real talk, man. You, you, you hit that right on the head. Another thing, Sean. Um, Yellow Beezy mm-hmm. um, situation. Um, Which situation? The Yellow Beezy and um, Freddie, um, Freddie, um, damn, I keep Trap saying. Trap Boy? Trap Boy, Freddie, and Mo3. Yeah. Um, do you believe that you, some people tried to point, the, a lot of the fans and different people tried to point the finger at you yeah. once you was interviewing, I guess, both sides. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you feel like you instigated they beef? What's your opinion on that situation? Now, I feel like at that time in the city, like I, I had the platform to where everybody could get their voice off. So like I was telling you the other day, when, when you go on somebody's platform and say something, they're going to go like, okay, perfect example, Rainwater, Charleston White, they both don't see eye to eye right now. Charleston White may say something about Rain Water on my platform. And then you got Rain, he he's gonna watch the interview. He's gonna want he's gonna wanna come back and say his side. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then Trost is gonna respond to it. And then Rain Water is gonna re- and then it's never gonna end. You know, niggas always want the last word. So it's like niggas are bitches. Niggas is bitches. No, I say niggas or bitches. Both. Oh, because I But I'm... niggas are bitches though. Not saying Rain and Charles. I'm just saying like, yeah, but yeah. niggas are bitches though. Okay. Uh but in the media space, it gets tricky because if you only interview one side, they're going to say you picking a side. 
But if you interview both sides, you messy. You see what I'm saying? Or you playing both sides. Okay. So it's in the media, it's really hard to, especially in the beef, to uh to really get the full story and not have either side mad at you. You know what I'm saying? Because if um that that whole situation was tricky, man, and uh I it's, I'm sa- I'm sorry it happened that way, but a lot of times too, you know, the rappers, it wasn't me calling them, hey, Mo3, he said this, bro. That's messy when you trying to beg a nigga to get on your show. Like, nah, Mo3, that was my homie. Like, he'll hit me up like, yo, Sean, uh, fuck that. I want to get on your shit, man. Um, and, and, and say what really happened. But that's what I'm saying. It is is with the interview spaces. Everybody always want the last word, and I tried to squash that shit a lot. Jay Prince did. Jay Jay Prince super powerful. Jay Prince couldn't even stop that shit. Jay Prince uh. Jay Prince came to Mo3 house one time. Mo3 called me scared of shit the next day. Uh, not scared of, not not scared of the whole situation, but just like, he was so nervous of meeting Jay Prince, he didn't know like what to expect from Jay Prince. And he had called me and was just like, bruh, man, Jay Prince tried to sit us down, bruh. And he just didn't know like Jay Prince's angle. So he was kind of like nervous about that, but, uh, Everybody tried to uh, nip that in the bud. Like, everybody, bro. Like, it was nothing that could be done because, um, you know, certain people got shot and and things of that nature. But it was it was really nothing that could be done. And she, la- my last point to that is it didn't really get hot until Roy Lee died. Roy Lee was a comedian. You know who that is? Uh-huh. I heard. Some people um, were saying he's from Dallas, right? Yeah. But see, Roy Lee was in tour with Yellow Beezy. Mm. I never interviewed Roy Lee. You see what I'm saying? So now if I interviewed Roy Lee and Roy Lee was why you didn't interview the comedian? What because Roy Lee Roy Lee was trying to ex- see? Roy Lee was trying to really like expose niggas. And then I was like, I'm cool on it. And then uh yeah, man, Roy Lee was like trying to expose niggas, bro. Like it could have got real ugly. So I was like, nah, I'm cool on it. And then um he had got, they said he had got set up or whatever. And uh, cause I guess he was doing a skit. Somebody act like they was paying him to do a skit. Get the fuck out of here! So they set him up for a skit, Sean. And then Roy, that's how Roy Lee the path. That, that's the word. Set him up for a skit on front of him. I do a lot of skits, Sean. Yeah. So they they met up in person with him and shot him, and he survived. Cause I think he did stand up comedy too. Mm. And then um, he he wasn't supposed to leave the house. He left the house to do the show because he had like four, multiple kids, right. just trying to provide for his family. Left the house to go do a show, and then uh, the bullet in his body got uh, infected. That's how he died. Damn. Yeah, but see when he so he ain't died right away. No, but see when he died, that's when it went up. I didn't have nothing to do with this, with that. When Roy Lee died, that's when Mo Three went crazy. It had nothing to do, bro. If Roy Lee never died. The shit would be, it would just still be back and forth. Shit. Back and forth On internet, WWE internet, shit. Internet. Like it wouldn't, but when Roy Lee died, that's when it got real. Damn. I had nothing to do with Roy Lee. But that's why when people say that, it's like the key component was when he died. Mm. And I don't, I've never met him in person. We only talked on the phone and he was trying to expose niggas. And, and I was like, nah, I'm cool on it. Cause if you, you know. But why you ain't get Roy Lee? That chance to talk, but then the, but, you, said, you said they was um, talking to you get both Because sides. now you're, I'm in, okay, N- Mo3 and Yellow Beezy, they're saying shit on Say Cheese that's already known in the city. But if I bring a nigga on my show exposing shit that nobody knows that's going on, then that's when it's being messy. But if I'm tell if, if y'all are coming on my platform saying shit that the, this, this niggas in the hood and the streets, they already know. Then that's to me. That's like all right, cool. That's this WWF shit. But when a nigga come on the show air shit out that nobody knows, then it's like I don't want that on my on my on my heart. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because I fuck with Yellow Beezy too. Okay. So nah, but like I said, if if it was some more public shit and they was going back and forth, then I would have probably had him on my show. But I never interviewed him, so for him to die. And people to blame that on me, I have no connection to him. And when he died, that's when Mo3 went crazy. And then that's when Yellow Beezy, the, to- the toll road shit happened, when he got shot. 
And then that's when it went up. So with you being had, such a big platform, with all that happening, did people try to come at you after like, all right, bro, let's just say vice versa. Mo, um, you say you rock with Mo3 and you rock with Yellow Bees. Yeah. So let's say when Mo3 passed, even though bro got, had, had the money or whatever the case is, that the niggas, because the niggas tell you like, yeah, all right, Sean, you got to pay for this. Folks funeral coming up. Nah. Up that bread. Nah. Rich, rich nah, boy. nah, nah, nah. Because people, the people that know, know. Like the people that really... Like Rainwater, that Rainwater's Mo 3's manager, bro. We right. still do business. Like he was never mad at me. Everybody was fucked up about it. But the fans, because when Mo 3 died, everybody went back to YouTube. And when you go to YouTube, what you see? A fucking Mo 3 interview. You see a Yellow Beezy interview. It was all say cheese, say cheese, say cheese. But a lot of this real shit that happened wasn't on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, nah. Uh, but I mean. I can see why people think that because of the interviews that I had, but um, I had I had interviews as well when Yellow Beezy squashed beef with Mo3. I did the interview in my apartment with Yellow Beezy. Uh, the first uh, confusion they had, Yellow Beezy sat down on my couch saying he didn't have a problem with Mo3. So I had both sides of the story, but no, I didn't have nothing to do with that, man. I was just documenting shit that was going on. Nah, I feel that. <laughs> So, put it like this, Sean. Uh, before before we run out of this time, because I done, I done had you here a little too long. Um, put it like this. Another question I wanted to ask you, with you asking these questions on phone now, um, with Butter coming on your channel, uh, what, do you think, do you feel like you putting FYBJ main with you giving him that interview, how you say? You give him this interview, you feel like he don't owe you shit, but you see him giving back to his people's over whooping or whatever the case is. Do you feel like you being that, like, why don't you feel like a motherfucker really owe you, bro? Don't, don't you think a motherfucker from Chicago pulls an over whoop for Sean Cotton? Let's start there. No, nah, you don't owe me, bro, because we're, it's, it's a, I look at it as a partnership. Like, when you come on my, when you come on my channel, you're making my channel money. That's why I pay you. You know what I'm saying? So, you, you, um, you coming on my channel is that's enough, bro. Like I feel like sometimes when you put people in position, they overcompensate. They feel like you over owe them. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't owe me, bro. Like you genuine. We do business. Like I know, I know if I ever needed something, I I could tell by your heart that you would you would do it. Mm -hmm. But I don't misuse people. Like I don't I don't use people because I can. Like that's, that's not my character. But you know, uh, nah, bro, you don't owe me. How much, how much money you got, Sean? Let, uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, how much money you got? Everybody want to know how much money Sean Cotton got. How much is he making off these interviews? Let's start there. Man, Google, Google say I'm worth like five, six million. <sighs> but I think that's a lot, though, because I, I got a lot of assets in like real estate. I got a whole farm, a whole weed farm. Let's talk about it, bro. I, I got all that, so... Um, I don't really know how much I'm worth. I don't. I don't really like saving money. Like when I make money, I put it into investing investments, like the store downtown. That's, Sean, that's, that's you team. put investing all this money. You ain't show. You ain't taught me shit, bro. You. I need you to have more time on your hands, or get your ass on YouTube and teach us something, bro. You got the game, bro. Yeah. You. Could we ever see Sean Cotton? Teaching us the YouTube game. We see Sean buying you, houses. You understand the YouTube game, though. Okay. I'm just talking about for everybody else. Yeah. Like, can we see you, one of them people, on breaking, giving us the yeah, song? Yeah, I just got to stay more consistent on the vlog shit because, you know, the vlogs, I kind of like... Uh, I like personally editing the vlogs because it's like a more uh, raw, like, I don't know, but I'll definitely give you the game, but I don't... Per personally, bro, I don't sit back and... I don't sit back and... Um, Would you give it to everybody, though? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like the flipping houses, the weed farm, how I got started... Oh, no. I always tell, like, I always give, like, slight game, like, live below your means. Like, why you, you only got 5000 Why you spending your last money on some fucking Amaris? Like, why you do, I always say shit like that. But when you do too much of that, niggas think you trying to, like, be too preachy, preachy. So that's why I like to do shit off of action and not saying it too much. Because when you start saying shit too much, niggas start trying to think you think you better than. or So I just try to do it with action and posting, like, my houses and shit on Instagram instead of just saying it, you know what I'm saying? But 
um, to your, your question, I don't know how much money I got, bro, because I don't believe in saving money. Like saving money is for is for pussies. Niggas mm. who scared to talk n- your shit, then. N- huh? n- niggas who scared to risk their money. Like I, I believe in when you get money, uh, your money's supposed to work for you. So that's that's just what I do. Like, just put I, it back into put it back into other shit, bro. And then by the time you look up after ten years, you got ten businesses, you got thirty houses, you got an apartment complex, you got a production company, you got three movies out, you got four athletes. That's how I am. Like. I look at life like Monopoly. Oh no! Like, I really do, bro. Like, um, and that's why, man, bro. Like, and I learned a lot, bro. And I feel like you could do the same thing. Like, I feel like a lot of us could do the same thing, man. I told you I want one of them Lamborghinis, Sean. Yeah. I told you when we was at Portillo's, when we when we ordered the FBG butter special, when I was when I was homeless, when you when you whoop, all right, J yeah. man. Now you a sissy thirty in. I give your ass an Italian beef, but I ain't giving you shit else. I know, I know you be with butter. Yeah, giving me Italian beef is crazy when I'm homeless, Sean. Mm-hmm. You was fucked up around we, that time. You could have took, you could have took me to know. Grand Lux or something, Sean. Yeah, uh, I get, I get um, Italian beef dipped in Chicago, Sean. <laughs> Let's start uh, with your rich ass. Eat yeah, it, man. Nah, you. It was cool, like. It's cool to see your journey, man. And, nah, respect. Uh, you know, that's one thing I always respect about you, man. And you always tell people what you're going through, real transparent. That's why that time I looked out for you, I was like, yo, bro, I'm gonna throw you something, man, but you owe me an interview or two. Like, oh, oh no, you know let's start. Saying? Yeah. Like, I tell people that shit, uh, that story all the time. I see, like, but it's cool. When you, I don't like saying shit like that because mm-hmm. it's bragging. When you help somebody, it's like, you don't, you're not supposed to go to the web and say it. People were supposed to say it for you. Don't so, you know what I'm saying? That's why I never really, I never really say say too much. But yeah, that's why I be explaining to other motherfuckers. I be like, bro, do your homework on bro. Ain't had to do something. He did it. Yeah, it hit different. Do your homework on. Um, yeah, folks. Woo, woo, woo. Damn, I ain't even woo. But motherfucker tossed you a couple. It hit different when Sean Cotton tossed you a couple bands. We fucked up. Yeah, a couple bands is crazy. Yeah, you got thousands laying around, Sean. Let's start. Yeah, it hit different. Do you, do you, are you, y'all still live out that way or y'all move somewhere else? Um, do your homework on FYBJ Maine, moving around the world. Sean, do your homework on me buying you a like house. You like Texas? Um, Texas, I, yeah, now nah, and then, I mean, I ain't been here in a while. I ain't been here in a while. But, I mean, Texas, what part of Texas? Houston was busting, Sean. Houston, yeah, I like Houston. Ace Town, we bust. I like Houston. It's, is this the thing with Houston is it's too much going on. Like too much I like going Dallas because it's a little bit more chill. Low key, yeah. And I don't like spending money. Let's start there. Yeah, well, I like investing money, but like just dry. Cause Houston, you gonna spend some money cause it's every every night, every something going on. It's Boston Hill, it's Boston every, Yeah. So Dallas is like, all right, but I could really I I could really live here, stack, invest. You know what I'm saying? No, facts. So So look, Sean. You put your, you starting to do more of this podcast instead of um, being on the phone doing the interviews in your old way how you was doing them. Yeah. Why are you showing your face now, Sean? Sean Cotton um, showing his face is crazy. Because I'm preparing to, to, for this new show. Okay. So I'm still going to do interviews. I'm just taking like two weeks off, but I'm going I'm to ramp up the, ramp up the interviews next week and then I'm a I'm really just starting this new show, so I'm trying to get like a few episodes ahead. Mm-hmm. Cause I want two shows going at once. Like I'm looking at fucking Shannon Sharp got the Nightcap, he got the Club Shay Shay, he got fucking ESPN. Mm. Like by the so end that's of, how you looking at by this the shit. end of the by the end of the by the end of the year, I want like four shows, bro. Like even if it's me and you, we got a we over. got a show two nights a week. Yeah, like. I want like three or four shows. I don't just want to do one interview. So that's why you asked me, do I like Texas? You ready for me to move back, Sean? Let's start there. Man, I don't know, man. But we can get something, something going. Let's start there. I'm going. Yeah, get, yeah. get a little whoop out here. Yeah, but that's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get a few more shows and shit. Okay. Just trying out the podcast thing, man. This shit, this shit a little... It's hard, but it, it ain't really hard. It's just news. Every day is some new news, man. Like... So now nah, facts. Yeah. It, it's definitely be new news every day. I'm folding this shit on yeah, for nobody. King Yellow feels like you you did his interview. He was one of the first, as you mentioned he earlier. Did say he made, didn't he say he created Damn that vice versa. He J Man, do your own work. I thought I wouldn't say that, but I felt like 
that big, your big whoop in the beginning with Soldier Ali hooped it for shit show. Everything. I, like, everything, and it's, this is what people don't understand. To a YouTube channel, everything is necessary. Bro, <laughs> like, like everybody feels like they created Say Cheese. Soldier Boy said that he created Say Cheese when he went in on me. What if I got the over whooping? I made Sean. Yeah. Let's, let's start. Yeah. You'll be like, come on, bro, y'all over whooping. But that's the beauty of it because everybody. We're working feels, together. Yeah, that because every, but then everybody feels like, like Sauce Walker, you ask him, he gonna feel like he helped Say Cheese. Go, yeah, yo. Uh, all like. At different times, Say Cheese yeah. had his different characters. So, yeah, Charles, right now it's exactly, Charles and J Man. Exactly. Okay, I get so it. So I don't feel no type of way when King Yellow say that because I, I want people to feel like Say Cheese is theirs. And, mm. and that's one thing that the fans, um, that's why they be on in the comments so crazy because they, I, I let the fans feel like say cheese is theirs and uh, the artists feel the same way. So I never really trip when artists say that. But King Yellow did say that. Soldier Boy said it. It's a lot of artists that claim that they made say cheese, and that's cool. That's cool, cool because they used me and I used them. It's a, it's a partnership, bro. And so with that being said, who was that one artist I sent you over whoop? I ain't seen Sean that mad in a, I'm like, damn, what? You was on the internet. You niggas, ooh, whoop! Nah, I seen that, Sean bug just, up. That's, that's just a character that I, that was, oh, just that was like a character. character just, just acting mad. And, okay. But that was, I think, Glock 9. Why was it? Uh, oh, yeah, I think, why, so. I believe so. Glock. Why, the, why, uh, why, uh, god damn. It hit different, you don't know his it name. It different when you, I forgot his name. But, oh, me and Rico Reckless one day. Mm. Uh, damn! Yeah, I have gotten into it with a few niggas. Hold on, you got into a Rico Reckless on the IG. Live. It was a real whoop on the IG live. Yeah. Hold on, you was mad for real? I was real mad. <laughs> Why you get mad at Rico Reckless? He be pissing people off, huh? Yeah, he. Had I thought he was a comedian. Off. He's a comedian now. I thought he was a comedian. I seen him laying on the floor, um, on sixty third and stuff. Like he, ah, <laughs> he was he, he wait, 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 he he, he did used to do crazy shit. Though. He be over whooping on four now. Like he, I know he over whooped like you over whooped. Yeah, yeah, he over whooped how I over whooped, but on four now. Why y'all um, haven't sit down yet? Um, I don't know. I ain't never talked to Rico. I haven't met the gentleman. So you feel the same way I feel about her? Like you don't know? He just. Um, I mean, well, Rico be saying shit about J Man. I done seen him say a couple whoops, but. On but I just like a, I don't know him. I ain't never met him. But he but y'all know each other. Of each other. I know of each other. So I never why seen not tap in? See, Herb is different. Like, I done right here, like how me and you right here. Like, but Rico, I ain't never been right here like that. So it hit different. So why not why not hit him up and be like, yo, let's get in the whoops? Um do a Rico. Because you don't know how he feel. You think it's like some slight animosity. Um Right? Not not saying that. I just ain't work with him. Shit, that nigga ain't reached out to me. Like I said the same thing about her, but you said I was tripping. Nah, I'm just saying. I mean that I didn't feel like that was necessary. I'm saying the nigga that you know is in your lane. He's on the list. Rico Reckless is on the list. I hit him up when the time yeah, comes. Nah, I'm nah, trying nah, to do nah, the nah, shine. I'm gonna challenge, you. I'm a challenge you. New Year. Let the ego and pride go. Hit him up. I mean, it was never nothing, bro. You just seen me sit down with 051 Kiddo. You just seen me sit down with Tay Sack. Because those are people that's on your family tree, bro. Kiddo on my family tree is crazy. Just because kiddo called everybody brother don't mean that everybody is brother. I just told him, I say, kiddo, Sean Cotton is not your brother. You mad? You, you didn't even meet him. He was on FaceTime. He, yeah, what's up, brother? I'm like, as soon as you got on the damn interview, brother, brother, brother. Sean ain't your brother, bro. That's I think you said that Rico Reckless, though. Oh. I think you feel like it's tension. I, I think you feel like it's tension. That's why you're saying that. I mean, I don't think the gentleman said, knows me. All right. So how could it be? You just said that y'all know of each other. Y'all just don't know. No, me. y'all just uh, don't know each other. So he, I don't think the gentleman knows me. So it hit different when the gentleman don't know you. I just wanna, you you got to be in person with a motherfucker to know them game. Maybe I'm forcing. At least. least. Am I forcing? And you got to be, yeah. You you over Ali Hooper Rico. Like get him on whoops. Get him on whoops. Get him on whoops. That, so that if we don't be, see Rico reckless on whoops, that's prime time TV though. What? That bitch blowing up. Do your homework on who I'm finna sit down with before folks though. Let's start there. Who uh, breezy? Um, it hit different. Brizo, Brizo, 600, 600 Breezy. I see, crazy. I think that will help your show. Bringing you what? on, bringing people on your show that you know hate you or don't really hate you, but you see how it's oh, going. Let's THF, THF gonna come. Bezu? Yeah. Bezu? Bezu. You want me to bring Bezu on the yeah, show? That'd be cool. Let's start there. That'd be cool. Let's start there. I thought he was gonna backdoor me, Sean. You did tell me that. So why would I bring somebody to my show who's gonna backdoor me? I don't think a lot of dudes hate you. <laughs> I think it's. They don't want to let their guard down, and you know Chicago. If, if if people if people did say they want to work with you, they don't want to look friendly. 
But I think a lot of these dudes see you as a way out. They see you as a as a stepping as a stepping stone. Yeah, no, nah, that's real. I, I feel like I feel like I've been seeing that whoop, bro. But yeah, Sean, I appreciate you for getting on this episode of Whoops. Um, we have been in here over whooping. Um, I did have to get you one in mm -hmm. before I get too many other motherfuckers on my whoop. Because yeah. once you told me, you like, Jay, man, my mind is, I'm trying to get the CEO of NASA on my shit. I'm trying to get the, the president on my, on my shit. So I'm trying to think bigger. So I'm not, I don't need no rappers. I need the, the top, the top blogger in the state of Texas. I need Sean Cotton on the episode of Hoops. Mr. Say Cheese. And let me know if you need somebody else on here too. Like anybody that you can't get in touch with. Okay, appreciate it. Definitely. That's right. Yeah. I got another whoop coming. Tonight? Um, I don't know tonight, but we doing we I mean it's doing more whoops. Who who else you think who you think from Texas why I need to get on this on an episode of Whoops while I'm here? Dallas area, Houston area. What you think, Sean? Who's on your radar? Hmm. First of all, I would like to see Asian. Asian would be crazy. Asian who? Asian doll. Hmm. Let's start. Yeah. She texted me a number, then she then she stopped texting me. I guess I don't know. Hmm. What up, fine ass? Cuban doll. Cuban. That's the light skin one, right? Yeah. Oh, well, her fine ass. That's like. Yeah. Is all of them fine? Okay, pretty much all of them dolls and shit. Okay. Cuban doll, Asian doll. All the dolls, fuck it. Let's start there. Um, and then you got them back whooping, because I seen some videos years ago, they was into it, and then you got mm -hmm. them back locked in, right? So sometimes, say cheese, put my fucking- A lot of times. It, it helps my fucking back I'm together. telling you to reach out to fucking Rico Reckless. Hmm. So the whole messy narrative is not true, bro. Hmm. It's just, my my. I have a big platform with a million subscribers, hmm. and both sides want to come tell their story. Hmm. So it was like, Instead of me picking a side, let me have both people come tell their story and that be that. Fact. But it's a lot of beef that I've squashed, bro. A lot of beef that I've squashed. It's just now I'm not on the internet trying to get flowers for it. I'd rather them say it. Because it sounds better when people brag on you than you bragging. Right. So. Okay. Hey, man. Whoops. I got to go buy... Uh, I, I gotta go buy a few more. Um, well, I haven't bought one yet, but I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna support him. I'm gonna buy. Uh, I'm gonna buy a few of them and then give them back. I'm give them to the homeless. Give them to the um, homeless. Yeah. Get these kids the woos. Give, give the them kids. the kids, Sean. Yeah, that's true. The homeless don't need these woos. Um, they ain't even got no milk. Let's start that. These kids got milk in their parents' refrigerator, Sean. Yeah. How long you out here for? Uh, I be out here until my black ass get tired of Texas. Yeah. Sean. So uh, one of these days this week, if you still here. Probably go to a school. Let's over whoop, son. Yeah, go to a school and then um I'm gonna get in touch with the uh, the uh the juvenile facility. Now if we could do that, that shit is fucking up. That's an over whoop. Haven't hold on, telling the juveniles to do their homework too? Mm -hmm. Or telling them to stop over whooping. Bro, it's crazy. Like let's start there. Last time I went to the juvenile facility, it's, you can just feel the energy in there. Everybody mad. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'ma tell her ass, no need to fear. The whoop man is here. <laughs> That's right. Uh. We out.